Hi guys, I'm Demon Killer and in this video we are going to walk through how we can shrink volumes via disk part. So normally what we do is open our disk management utility and shrink our partitions. But uh, the problem is sometimes uh, we are not able to do that. So what you can do is open disk part utility by typing disk part in the search area and hit enter. And then click on yes uh, when it asks do you want to allow this app to make changes. And then uh, what you see here is the disk part utility. So what we want to do first of all is list all the disks that are attached to our uh, computer. So we are going to type in list disk okay, and hit enter. And as you can see I have two disks attached. So one is the 500 gig uh, hard disk drive and second is the 300 gig hard disk drive. So uh, we are going to work on the 500 gig hard disk drive because that is what uh, I am logged in into. Windows is on this uh, 500 gig hard disk drive. So the disk is disk 0 and uh, you can uh, check this by opening your file browser and going to this PC as well as in your normal disk management. So this is the one we are talking, of, uh, talking about and working on. All right. So back to disk part, uh, we are going to select this disk. So type in select disk 0. Remember uh, the, the name, the number of the disk which we want to select. So hit enter and as you can see disk 0 is now selected. Then we want to list all the volumes of this disk which is basically listing all the partitions of this disk. So we are going to type in list volume and we are going to see uh, all the partitions on this disk. So we see here three volumes 0, 1 and 2 and these are the volumes which we can also see inside disk management. Uh, so reserve C and D drive. All right. So we want to shrink volume of the D drive uh, because that's where we are going to uh, get some space for uh, whatever application we want. So normally what we do is right click here and then shrink volume. But we're not going to do that right now because that's not the purpose of this video. What we want to do is select this volume. So I'm going to type in select volume 2 and hit enter and as you can see volume 2 is selected. We can also uh, do uh, add, use the drive letter actually. So if I type in select volume F, it's going to be the same thing. All right. Now what we want to do is shrink volume. So as you can see, uh, it's 200 gigs uh, and it shows 199, but it's 200 gigs. So I'm going to shrink uh, 100 gigs of space. So what I have to type in is shrink and then I'm going to type in desired D E S I R E D and equal to and the space, the desired space I want in uh, megabytes. So I want 100 gigs and uh, 100 gigs in megabytes, MBs is basically 102400. And then what I want to do is uh, assign the minimum space. So I'm going to type in minimum is equal to and this can be anything from 0 to whatever number, but uh, I suggest you should keep it above 100 and below maybe 1 gig or 500 MB. So it's up to you. So I'm going to give around 200. That's fine. And hit enter. And as you see, we have shrunk the volume by 100 GB. So now if I come to disk management, you can see that exactly 100 gig uh, un unallocated space has been created as well as our uh, D drive, which in this case is F. Uh, has been reduced to 100 gigs and if you open your uh, file browser here in this PC uh, 200 gigs is now not available, but we have now 99 gigs or 100 gigs actually So this is how we shrink the volume now you will ask how I came up with this 102400 So whatever uh, number you desire to shrink you just have to multiply that by 1024 so open your calculator and Then let's say you want to shrink like 90 gigs. So type in 90 uh, I don't know why is this okay so type in 90 and then uh, you want to multiply that with 1024 and 92160 that's 90 gigs in MBs so you want to type that here all right so this is how we shrink volume via disk part in uh, Windows so if you like the video uh, please do subscribe and uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you have a nice day